All right, guys, we're going to show real quickly how to swap out the block on the Rangemaster and the Site Pro Upper and also show a little uh, technical issue that we're going to give you the solution for that is uh, we've had quite a few call-ins from people having issues. So to change out the block, you'll see that we have a stainless shaft that has a hex brooch on the end of it, and that holds the block into place, and it is left-hand threaded into the main T-handle side. So you need to make sure the provided quarter-inch Allen wrench fits into the slot. You want to turn it clockwise. Do not try to turn it conventionally and snap it or, or strip out the threads thinking that it's just too tight. You have to turn it clockwise because it's a left-hand thread. So you want to pull it out completely. And when it comes out, you'll see that there's a bronze washer on one end. There's a block. And then there's another bronze washer. Make sure these washers go back in the same way they came out. Now, all you have to do to swap it out is you take your new block, I'm going to put it in that way. We're going to take the bronze washer and we're just going to slide it in there. And if you can see there, you just hold it up against there. And then you're going to take the other washer, you're going to slide it down into the shoulder. And then you're going to turn it counterclockwise, again being a left-hand thread, to tighten it up. And you just bring it down. So it's snug and then give it a really good hard turn to make sure that it's firmly seated and it doesn't back out while you're trying to push sight. So I usually just grab it by the T-handle and give it a good turn like that. And you're ready to go on to the whatever project you're working on. Now here's the issue. We have had some customers, I'll break this loose, tell us that they want to change the blocks out and all of a sudden the tool locks up and they think they bound the threads up or they kink something or they lock something up and they can't understand why and I'm going to show you what they're doing. When you take the block out for the first time you need to be very careful that this one bronze washer that's on the shaft, if this happens to fall out like this when you're pulling it out, you need to just be careful when you put it back in. This washer has a chamfer on one side only, and only one of these two washers has this chamfer on it. There's a fillet radius on the shoulder right here for the stainless shaft to give it strength so it doesn't snap. If you put this washer in backwards, like this, you'll see that there's a gap there. It cannot go down to the shoulder. And what happens is when you tighten everything up, it presses against that and locks everything up and you can't turn the shaft, you can't turn the main shaft at all. So you need to be aware that when you put it in, that you flip it around and have that chamfer go up against the shoulder just like that. You lay your block in, slide it in, and make sure you have a bronze washer on each side, and then screw it down and then tighten it down and you shouldn't have any issues. So if that washer is in backwards or if you change out the blocks and you notice that it locks up, that's the first thing to look for and that's uh, going to be the solution to any issues you have.